Hey guys, it's Eric from the Mail Mascot, and I know I promised you guys a VPS hosting tutorial and an in-depth guide on how to set up a VPS for email marketing. So here it is, and basically I'm going to talk to you in this video about the step-by-step -step process of how to set up a VPS and what's what it's all about, kind of you know what it means on the technical terms, um, how it can help you, the benefits, that kind of thing. Okay, so consider this to be a 101 type of 411, all-in-one and any other ones you can think of tutorial about VPS hosting okay let's begin first of all a VPS stands for a virtual private server okay it's a bridge between shared hosting and dedicated hosting it's more powerful than shared hosting but not as expensive as a dedicated host okay additionally um, it's not a physical server okay a dedicated host is a big physical server you can touch it standing in somebody's room for instance or warehouse, whatever. A shared host is a sorry, a VPS is a shared host, okay, on this physical server. So it's a portion of this physical server which is virtual, not real, okay, which can have its own operating system, um, its own functions, its own details, its own setup, you know, which belongs to you pretty much. That's what a virtual private server is. It gives you the same ability as dedicated, but without the physical constraints of a server, okay. I hope that makes sense. It seems like it should. All right, I'll come back to it later, so don't worry too much about it. Next, benefits of using a VPS for mailing, because that's obviously what this tutorial is centered around. Okay. First of all, unlike Hotmail accounts, Gmail accounts, Yahoo accounts, and any free accounts at all, you have no sending limits. Okay, so you can feel free to send as many as you want. Now, this applies to most VPS providers. Um, in particular, I'm talking about HostGator. In this example, but um, you know, just double check with your host before you end up getting it to see what they uh, what they say about sending limits. Okay, um, it's cheaper than a dedicated server, as I mentioned before, and more powerful than a shared server. All right, the, I think the greatest benefit as well is the fact that you have full control of your sending, so you have direct access to the mail server and its functions. Pretty much, you can tweak specific settings, tweak uh, s rotation IPs, add IPs, everything that typical. Uh, host would be able to do, you can do it yourself now for your own SMTP, for your own mail server. Okay? Basically, just think of it as share regular web hosting, but you being the boss. Okay? So you have full control over everything you want to do, whether it's mailing, whether it's installation of applications, or anything else, you have full control over everything. Okay? Which leads me back to my next point. It allows you to install and run applications on the server. For instance, if you want to, if you buy a VPS with a larger RAM 